Now things get a little bit trickier in this next diagram because the image that I'm going to reflect crosses that line of symmetry. The exact same process is going to happen. However, my image that I draw in the end, the one that I'm going to draw in with pencil, the image itself, not the pre-image, will also then in some way have to cross that line of symmetry and then might also intersect my pre-image. So it might look a little bit trickier. So let's draw it out. First, I'm gonna draw out my image, or sorry, my pre-image, this diagram of the triangle with as straight of lines as I can freehand. I'm not using a ruler right now. I'm just doing my best because as you remember, the tracing paper isn't the exact thing that ends up. That just helps give us our outline. Then I'm gonna trace the line of symmetry, that line of reflection. I'm gonna put the arrows on it to help me line that up perfectly. Then take your tracing paper that now looks like the diagram that you saw and you are going to flip it over, thinking about which way we should flip it now. I have two options. I could flip like this, but I wanna make sure that I'm flipping over that line of symmetry. So this time I'm going to flip in that direction, flip over the line of symmetry. And now when I place that line back down, I'm going to retrace the triangle. I'm pressing down pretty hard with a pencil must be a pencil here in order for the tracing paper to do what we want it to do. When I lift it up, I have a good start. So now I take my ruler. Oops, make sure I'm on those points. Connect those points. Connect these points. And connect these points. Then going back to my paper to help me out. A should be, sorry, there we go. A should be up at the top. B is on the left and C is on the right. So I've got A prime up at the top, B prime on the left, and C prime on the right. There we go. 